and going back to that vision. So, mm -hmm. so it's kind of you know it's it's as much of a kind of a mindset as anything else because obviously, you know we you can't follow through on every single issue you come across as a Absolutely, parent. Absolutely right. But it's setting up the mindset of how I approach it. So really, and, you're kind of feeding, filtering through, weaving through principles mm -hmm. that support the vision. Right. right. So okay, science experiment time. Um, let's set up a scenario. Let's say, okay, Bobby, he, uh, we're going to, I want you to give me an example of someone who's doing it from a punishment, authoritarian or permissive, whatever you want. And then an example of someone doing it in your framework, the framework that you're trying to teach people. So let's just say Bobby has um, stolen a eraser from the convenience store <laughs> and parent finds that he's like a, a four-year-old boy you know mm -hmm. and um and so it's not like some major like <laughs> you're going to jail type of thing but it's a major principle you know mm -hmm. um let, oh, give me a couple examples of how it would look in different ways well you know one from a you know if you look at the mm -hmm. authoritarian let's take that approach you know okay. uh the authoritarian parent uh, when when they found out about it, would not sit, would not explain, would just wallop little Bobby and you know, just just How could totally you? yeah you know basically take him by the ear, bring the, him the whole store. bed you know yeah. and uh, you know just have nothing. Oftentimes not even take him back to the store you know because it's just just wallop the daylights out of him or or whatever. But yeah. you know and then the permissive side would be somebody that would just go yeah you know no big deal hey you know He's everybody does it you know He's the whole just, bit. But, uh, you know, getting back into the, uh, you know, that middle of the road of one, Bobby needs to be accountable for his actions. So, yes, I think, you know, then taking him back to the store. Mm -hmm. uh, and I have done this myself uh, but, uh, uh, as a parent as far as, you know, having a child confront the, the situation and take on that responsibility themselves. And that being the first part of, mm -hmm. you know, taking... And what I would do, and in fact, I did, you know, is talk to the store owner first. And um, I'm, I'm ratting on my daughter, but you know, she'll, she'll let course, it slide. You have you know, to tell stories of your children. You know, she's 20 and she's in college. She's a great kid now. This is about, you know, I don't know maybe 15 years or so ago. <laughs> and then we had, a, we had an issue with she and a friend in, in a mm -hmm. store, something similar to that. And so um, I called the, the store manager, I explained to him the, the situation, so I wanted him in on it. And, um, you know, so we kind of had a, he and I developed a quick game plan okay. as far as, you know, Meredith, not so much putting the fear of God in her, but, you know, in it's a way, a really, yeah. <laughs> and so I, I took her to, uh, to the store, ushered her into the, mm -hmm. uh, to the manager's office. She thought I was going to come on in there with, you know, kind of by her side as a uh, support mechanism, pushed her in, walked out, closed the door, and left her in there with the manager. Oh, my goodness. And, you know, imagine. and so, uh, you know, she kind of comes out, you know, the, the deer in the headlights oh. look, you know, and, and um, you know, and that was enough, you know, and we, and then, and we followed up and we talked about it. We, right. we you know, as far as, you know, that, uh, you know, God's rules as far as stealing, we even went into, you know, what would happen, you know, when somebody, if somebody took something of hers, is that right? It, you know, or, mm -hmm. you know, to help her understand the concepts of uh, what we're doing in right. that first and foremost, this is how God designed it. But the other thing, too, is that God puts in place rules not to take away our fun, but to make us so we can, we can enjoy life and that everybody lives well together. And, you know, things like, so it's kind of thinking through on those things where mm. there's still accountability for action, but the love, and I don't know how good an example of this right. is, but still, it, it, you know, to to look at it as a teachable moment rather than just screaming and hollering at the child. Right. You know, you're no good. You're, you know, because blah, blah, blah. really, what does that it, yeah, bring about? It, it it really doesn't bring anything. You know, might make me feel better, but the child is not. And, really and does learning. it? I mean, no, no, when, I've, know, I mean when I've when uh, I've reduced myself to <laughs> yelling at my children, I definitely don't feel better. In fact, I feel a little, a lot more powerless than anything. I'm right. like, I don't know what else to do. But that was so bad. Why'd you do that? But it goes back to the ease. That's that's the easiest to. Uh, it is. Just to, to, you know, I mean, it takes some thought right. to be, you know, to discipline. Yeah. You know, to to turn that into a teachable moment. Uh, you know, it, it takes some some uh, some thinking. That's why right. we say be 
proactive so you right. can think ahead have a plan have because a when you're plan. right in the midst of it chances are mm -hmm. you know it's not the best time when all those emotions right. are going to say oh what kind of game plan can i come up with now yeah you know uh because i'm not usually in that frame of mind where i'm going to right. do that so and uh, one thing um i think is good to point out is that if someone doesn't adopt this game plan necessarily that as long as there is a game plan, that's the most important thing. Yeah. Like um, my aunt and uncle, they had a very simple game plan that I heard um, that they shared with me, and it was just kind of their filter for everything. They Anything they were going to major on or discipline on or anything like that, they had what they called the four R's. It was, is it respect, um, does it, am I respecting myself, respecting God, respecting others, and respecting the things that we have? Mm -hmm. And if it fit into one of those four categories, then and they disobeyed in one of those areas that's what they would major on if they did something and it really didn't go against any one of those then they would just it wasn't something they were going to spend their energy and time on dealing with but then they brought everything back to well you are disrespecting the things that we have and well we need to respect the things we have and it what i loved about it is it took them like you said took the emotion out of disciplining mm -hmm. and that um and that was really important and i love everything that you've shared about about that because in emotions we're not that successful are we you know I, I mean love obviously is an emotion but when we do that in love mm -hmm. but but again you know it, it's having that that game plan of thinking through it and it doesn't take a, a rocket science no uh, you know but it just takes the time we right. have to do it the time but so, then and that is hard for a single parent and we acknowledge yeah. that and that's why with the group you know we we take that time out and so without a, a support group i mean parents do have mm -hmm. to do that on their own but, now, uh, given we've talked about a lot right now, and I know we can't talk about everything we want to, but what is your nonprofit organization um, that, what's your website in case they want to learn more about that? It, it's just a lot of articles, okay. a lot of good, so, uh, I mean, what's the, the address? the singleparentfamily.org. Okay, great, great. Yeah. So if you have any um, desire to learn more about this, please go to that website, but um, I want to thank you for sharing you. your time yeah. and insight yeah. with us, and I want to thank all of you for tuning into the show today. And just remember that you are not alone.